Welcome to the Millbrook Railroad, and today we're doing a little side project. Um, I have to uh, find a new place for the, the car charger, because I have an electric car. I used to work on gas-powered ones and small engines. I don't want to do that anymore. So, I got electric. But, buy whatever you want. This is what I've got. One of the things you have to have for an electric car is a little bit of infrastructure, a charger. So when you start in the morning, you know, you've got a full battery. You've got a full tank of gas, essentially. So uh, I got uh, I got a new charger when uh, I got my wife a Ford. So we're going to use Mosier to measure out the electrical run for our car charger. It's, technically, it's, a, it's called an EVSE or uh, electric vehicle, I forgot what SE stands for, but basically it puts electricity into the car so the onboard charger can charge up the battery. So we're gonna measure out the run for the wire for that. And I've got to go from over here somewhere to basically over here. So it's gonna be, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a, a little bit of a run. I don't know exactly how far, but with the help of our friend Mosier, Mosier 2 Pro, we're going to get that all figured out. And we're going to see how far it is along the ground. And I'll just transpose that up to you know, four feet up where the wire is actually going. Now, let's see. I'm going to start screen record on this here real quick. There we go. Screen record. Record audio. Also, record the entire screen. All right, so we're going to start... Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Now, we're going to start the Mosier up. Stick it in the Mosier stick. And then we're going to do open shape. This is an open shape that we've got to do. Now we're going to start over here at the farthest end of uh, where we'd have to be. That's going to be our start point. We'll follow along here. We're going to stop right here. That's our first point. There's our second point. There's another point right there. And I'm going to go a little bit beyond here, right to here. And that gives me one run. So I'm going to stop that. And now I need to figure out the other run. So to figure out the other run, I will come back here to this point. Actually, I'll do the whole run again because I've got to run a second wire. So we'll save this file. And we'll make this... Um, EVSE1 outside. All right, now we're going to do another open shape. My phone doesn't like me right now. There we go. Okay. We'll start back here again. Back in this corner. Back to this corner. Back to this corner. Now we're going to go around. behind the camera. Let's swing the camera around here. 
There we go. And we're gonna get the <laughs> this. This is gonna be a little awkward. We're basically gonna be, uh, well, right below the camera. And now we'll go a little bit further. All right, now we're going to save this file as EVSC2 outside. There we go. And that's all saved up. I can add all that up. That is 33.27 feet on that second run. The first run was, let me reopen the file. The first run was a total of 25.26 feet. That's how much I need to run on the outside. On the inside, it's another story. All right, now we're down here in the basement in the utility room, and we're gonna use Mosier to measure from this corner over to the other corner, and uh, and we can figure out how high. I think we got to go up. Uh, this is uh, ten feet right here. Actually, no, this is nine feet from the floor to the ceiling, and so that's uh, that's what we're gonna figure on, and then, then we'll uh, we'll run it into this this panel here beside me. So. Let's turn Mosier back on. All right. We'll do an open shape. We'll start it over here in the corner. Oops, something in the corner. There we go. I got to clean that up. All right. Now we're at start. Now we wait for it. All right, now off we go. We'll go all the way over to here. There, now that's 13.66 feet right there. 13.67, somewhere around there. So we'll call that 13 and a half feet. And uh, we'll give a little bit of room to uh, go through the wall, which is six inches. And uh, is that six inches? Oh, plus I've got another another two inches of uh, of sill plate to go through, so that's uh, that's uh, ten inches. So, and then we can go. Let's see, from this corner over to the utility. That's going to be another, we'll call it five feet. And so, adding nine, and five. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what this run is right now. So, we've got 13.66 feet, and we'll just add a little more to it. So, that's, so we'll add... We'll, we'll add 14 feet to this, so, yeah, to, to go down to the, we don't have to go all the way to the floor, so, yeah, we add, if we add 14 feet, that gives me enough room inside the uh, panel box, a little bit of wiggle room and all that, that's, that's good to have, so, and, and what I'll do is I will run the wires from uh, outside. So I'll start them out out there, push them inside, pull it into the into the uh, utility room and all the way down here and and uh, into the panel, and then I'll cut it off on the on the outside. So that'll uh, that'll that'll be good. So Mosher just helped me figure out what kind of space I need for this. So what do we say? 13 and a half basically. 
plus 12 plus um, that's plus we'll call that one foot plus twenty six actually it's twenty five point five this is all in feet so that's fifty two feet right there for the first run and the second run thirteen and a half plus twelve plus one plus let's go to the other file here open default EVSC two outside that's a uh, 33.27 oops glad I had that saved 33.2 we'll call it 25 so 33 and a quarter feet equals 59.75 feet on the second run so we've got a 52 foot run and a 59.75 foot run. So now I know how much uh, wire I need. This is all eight, um, or is it six? Six three. I bought 125 feet of it. And looks like I'm going to go through almost all of it. So 52 plus, uh, 59.75 so 59.75 plus 52 equals 111.75 feet and that's uh, that's how much copper I'm uh, putting into into the wall right now so uh, there we go it's an expensive project for sure um, but uh, it's got to be done and it's a good project to do so there we go. It's not my normal kind of thing. It's not exactly train related, but uh, you know, it's it's uh, it's something. It's a project, and it is made possible by Mosier. So I want to thank our friends at Mosier for for sponsoring this video and for um, for for basically helping out the channel. If it weren't for uh, sponsors like Mosier and uh, Plum Cove Studios. Um, it'd be harder to make videos. Also, big thanks to our Patreon supporters, too. Um, they're, they're big, huge help, and our channel members. And uh, if you're interested in the Mosier 2 Pro, um, and maybe you are, maybe this is the kind of tool that you need. Um, I'd never used it for an electrical project before. I was always using just a tape measure, but you know, this, uh, this helped me estimate a little bit better. It was a little quicker, actually, than... than um, doing this by hand so um maybe electricians can use this too i don't know i just used it and then we're going to put it to the test in a little bit but yeah i don't think you want to see me run wires that's kind of boring um, it's like watching paint dry <laughs> i do enough of those videos watching paint dry but uh anyway thanks for watching today's video and uh if you would like to become a patreon supporter all you got to do is go to patreon.com slash Millbrook Railroad. Um, or you can uh, become a channel member as well right here on YouTube. Um, and uh, it all helps out. It helps us keep making videos. Um, not necessarily videos like this one, because this one's sponsored. But uh, it, it helps us make other videos that have um, uh, maybe more expenses to them. The videos aren't always cheap to make. Sometimes they are. Sometimes they're not. But anyway, I digress. Appreciate you watching this one. Enjoy the rest of your day.